So I want to explain how to use or how to create the summary queries in Nexus to be able to count or do the average maximum minimums etc. First of all, um, before you do the before you uh, do the summary queries, you have to make sure, as in every type of exercise in Nexus, that the relationships are correct uh, and that you um, your relationships are really one to one or one to many. If there's any error there, we won't get the options we need in the wizard, and we'll get everything wrong. Um, then, there's two ways to create those summaries. Um, first way is to, to use the wizard. Um, to use the wizard, we'll go into create and uh, click on Quer query wizard. We select the simple query wizard, and then uh, for us to get the option of the summary, which is the next step, um, we need to be able to select um, fields from at least two tables. If we select fields from the same table, uh, for name and surname, we will never get uh, the option that we need. Um, apart from being from at least two different tables, uh, we need uh, them to be um, fields that you can count. Okay, so if there's really fields that uh, wizard, uh, the wizard detects that it can't count, it won't show you the option. So um, I'm going to I'm going to show you to you using the the tables and then the query, a previous query. So uh, for example, we're going to select here from uh, the table stores the branch name, and from table job the description, and then we go to next. And you see that we get here an option summary where we can select a count or even we could select summary uh, average whatever okay um, so now what we're going to do is instead of using tables um, we are going to use a query because we've already filtered this through several uh, the query has filtered through countries or job codes so in this query, even though we select fields from the, the same fields, branch name and description from the same query, it refers to, diff to different tables, so we will get the option. As you see, if we now click on Next, we have this option. Again, this step will never appear if our relationships are incorrect or if we select uh, fields from the same table. So let's go to Summary, Summary Options, and we want, them to, we want the access to count our records. And then click on next. I'm, I'm going to call it wizard, so we know um, what the, uh, it is. Delete the other wizard that I had as a test, and you can see that have we have here the uh, it has created um, uh, the branch name uh, field description, which isn't really correct because this whole sort of all sorts of uh, assistance. It gets the first one, but there's uh, there's many more. Uh, we're going to check that it works. So if you see uh, that we go here, we go to Berlin, and Berlin has 25. And if we go here, Berlin has 25 descript job descriptions. Okay, um, so that's correct. Um, now. Um, so it has it is counting. If we don't want this uh, column, we can go to the sign view, uh, um, change the um, hide that column, and then we have what we want. So I'm going to, I'm going to save this, to close this. I'm going to save this so that we see that with the wizard we get these results. Let's just leave it open so we can check it with the next one. Um, the other way to create the the um, the summary query is to do it uh, manually. So uh, from we're going to do a query design. Again, we have to select at least things from two different tables or two different queries. In this uh, exercise, to get the same results, we'll select from the query. Um, but remember that this query refers to different tables. So. Um, I'm going to select the same fields, branch name, and I'm going to select uh, the description. Uh, I can't count now. For that, we need to go into Design and see this option Totals on the Show and Hide. We are going to click on it, and it will add another field here. 
it does not change anything we are still getting the the branch name and all the names of the descriptions but uh, now uh, it adds this total uh, row and we can now change the option we want to count to count and as you see now if you, we run instead of uh, having a Berlin several times it's grouped by that and it counts the number of um, of fields we had for uh, Berlin and if we check it it got the same results as the wizard so that that's two ways to do the summary wizard uh, the summary queries uh, for the count average minimum maximum options uh, once you get the hang of it you'll probably use the manual one but at first you might use the wizard uh, and it's the same for the reports although we might do another video another day thank you